up everybody, it's Grim, your YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion, coming to you today with my 2014 Payback Predictions. Who the fuck is gonna get paid back at Payback? Well, considering this is practically a rematch card from Extreme Rules the month before, I have a feeling that all the outcomes are gonna be reversed. So, that means that Evolution should beat the Shield at this pay-per-view, right? I actually thought that Evolution would have won at Extreme Rules, which would have led to the rematch at this card, but they're kind of booking the bullshit backwards, which I don't understand. If the Shield won at Extreme Rules, why are they having a rematch? Why the hell would you grant heels the rematch? It makes no sense. But I, 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 this is 2014 WWE booking we're talking about, so I, I don't mind seeing the match again, because the match at Extreme Rules was fan-fucking-tastic. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Evolution win this match, and hopefully Batista gets the pin, because <laughs> I've seen on his Twitter that in his profile, in his little bio, he says that he's WWE jobber. You're not a jobber, Batista. Come on! <laughs> He's probably mad that he lost at WrestleMania and Extreme Rules. It's an Alicia Fox news alert! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Alicia Fox is going to get a title match against Paige for the Divas belt? After she just lost on Monday Night Raw? Does this make any sense to anybody? Not to me, but I have no problem watching Alicia Fox dump soda all over her tits and glisten like the sexy bitch that she is. So hopefully we see more soda being poured on boobs at Payback because that's what I want to see. And I would like to see some soda poured over Paige's ass. Why the hell not? But I'm definitely gonna go with Paige for this match. I don't see her losing the belt right now. They're really putting momentum behind Paige. Although, Alicia Fox is the more entertaining character right now. Does that make any sense to you? I never thought I'd be saying that two months ago, but I'm still looking for Paige to retain the Divas belt. Is Daniel Bryan gonna relinquish the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Payback? No! 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 So you know what that means? That means that Brie Bella is going to get fired. That's probably where they'll go with this angle. Maybe Brie wants some time off. I, I know she wants to like, you know, now that she's married, she wants to have a family and shit. Maybe that's where they're going with it. Or maybe she'll be fired for three months and then get her job back somehow. Something stupid's going to happen because they're going to keep those titles on Daniel Bryan because supposedly his neck injury is not that bad. And they're going to drag out this angle until he can get back into the ring and compete which I'm super pumped about, because I didn't want Daniel Bryan to get stripped of the titles. That would have been best for bullshit. And we don't like things that are best for bullshit. The other big question I keep getting asked, Grim, is CM Punk gonna come back at Payback? It's in Chicago. Do you think he gives a fuck? They had Raw in Chicago, the motherfucker didn't show up. He does not care. He is retired. Let him go, let him go. He doesn't care about you anymore. He's gone, he's done and he's retired. Will he come back? Maybe, maybe a couple years down the road. I don't know. He's done for now. Let him go, focus on the guys that are in WWE and don't chant CM Punk at Payback. Come on. The pre-show is gonna kick off with El Torito versus Pornswoggle in a hair versus mask match. Now, unmasking El Torito would be one of the stupidest things ever. And considering that El Torito holds victories over Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre. Oh wait, no, Heath Slater. I don't, did he beat Jinder Mahal? Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? Why are full grown superstars jobbing to midgets? But El Torito's gonna win. Hornswoggle's gonna shave his head. No one will give a fuck. Although actually, I'm kind of shortchanging this match. Oh my God, I just made a fucking punt. That was bad, I'm sorry. Okay, no, seriously. Because the, the Wii LC match that they had at Extreme Rules, that was actually pretty good. And I was gonna shit all over that match. And I was all prepared to shit all over this match too. But it might be good, I don't know. I'm not putting too much stock into it. Bad News Barrett is gonna defend the Intercontinental Championship against Rob Van Dam, the number one contender from the tournament. And if you think that RVD is gonna become the next Intercontinental Champion, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Wade Barrett is on a fucking roll right now. He's gonna retain that title. RVD is like Jobber to the Stars. He's back to put over the new guys, and I'm fine with that. I love RVD, but you know what? Build up. Bad News Barrett, because he's awesome. The new United States Champion, Sheamus, is going to defend that title against Cesaro. Now, is Cesaro going to go over for the U.S. title? I mean, Sheamus has only had it, what, three or four weeks? I don't know. But can Cesaro really afford to lose at this point? Why would Cesaro lose? The guys need some momentum. 
you know, Sheamus losing isn't going to cost him anything. So, well, except the U.S. title. So maybe they'll put the U.S. strap on Cesaro. That's what I want to see. So that's where I'm going to make my prediction. I'm going with Cesaro as the new U.S. champ. He's the king of swing, baby. He's going to swing that fucking ginger right out of our lives. And then racist Rusev is going to go up against Big E Langston. And, you know, at first I thought everybody was just making jokes about the fact that Rusev only fights African-American guys in the WWE. But that's all that's been going on. Is it some type of sick joke? <laughs> Do they think we don't notice? What the fuck are they doing? And of course Rusev is going to beat Big E. It's the battle of the shortened names. Maybe they could have had, like, you know, their full name on a pole match. You know, winner gets to keep their full name. We could have Big E Langston back or Alexander Rusev back. Either way, I don't think any of us really fucking care, and Rusev's gonna win. All we give a fuck about is seeing Lana's legs. Maybe some cleavage. Hopefully she bends over and shows her ass. I'm not putting my money on that, though. Who the fuck is mowing the lawn? I'm trying to make a video over here. And then what will no doubt be the main event of the pay-per-view. John Cena faces Bray Wyatt for the 37th time. Actually, no, it's only the third time on pay-per-view. But it seems like this feud has been going on forever. Can it please be over now? And I really don't want to see John Cena win this match. And I know everybody's going to get pissed. No, I want John Cena to win. But, but Bray Wyatt needs the push, man. Bray Wyatt's got the momentum. I mean, he's the bad guy, and he gets cheered. And John Cena's the good guy in the match, and he gets booed. People want Bray Wyatt. we got to push Bray Wyatt. We need bigger stars in the WWE. Their roster's never been bigger. Their roster's never been shallower. Like, if Daniel Bryan did be injured, who the hell would be the champ? We need new guys. Let's put Bray Wyatt over. Maybe he can get the title match at SummerSlam against Daniel Bryan. If we only build up Bray Wyatt, there's no harm going to happen to John Cena should he lose this last man standing match. I hopefully want to see Bray Wyatt win this match. That's where I'm putting my money. Actually, no. John Cena's probably going to win. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, what do you guys think? Who do you think's going to win at Payback? Let's discuss it down in the comments below. I will read all the comments. I might not get to reply to them, but I will read them, I promise you. And subscribe, because right after Payback is over, I'm going to upload my review of it. Hopefully you guys enjoy Payback, and please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. I'm going to buy Toys at Toys R Us.